Uh, good evening, fellow graduates, invited guests, and Canning College staff. My name is Zachariah Bashir, and before I commence my speech, I'd first like to thank my mother, my father, my three sisters, and a few selected friends, for if it was not for these people, there would be no way I'd be standing here today. I'd also like to extend my appreciation to Canning College for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Congratulations to all the students for making it this far. And even though it's your job, I'd still like to give a big thank you to all our academic educators for guiding us throughout this experience. So let's have a round of applause for both the students and the teachers. I am both honoured and bewildered that I'm actually standing here giving this speech. If you were to tell me in the beginning of the year that I'd be giving the valedictorian speech, I'd scoff at that idea and brush you off. Yet, evidently, here I stand. First and foremost, I want to start with some personal anecdotes. I wish to share with you my journey that led me to graduating here at Canning College. I'm being totally serious when I say this, but believe it or not, I took this ATAR course by accident. Okay? I tried to apply for the um, academic preparation course, however, only four people applied, so the course was cancelled. I was told by the administration that Tuart College offers this course, but I live in Thornley, and Mirabuka is a long way away from where I live. And trust me when I say this, you do not want to see me in the morning. <laughs> I was told to enroll in an ATAR course as a pathway to university by an advisor, so I did. But first, let's quickly run through some history so we can get a general idea of how I ended up here. I dropped out of school in year 11. I wanted to work with my uncle in a family business. Towards the end of that year, I realised that I had made a mistake. So the following year, I re-enrolled into year 11, only to drop out again. As you can tell, I was young and naive, probably not responsible enough to make my own decisions. I worked as a roof plumber for a couple of years afterwards. I did some fly-in, fly-out work, as well as a few jobs in construction, before I realised it just simply wasn't for me. I then proceeded to enrol to enrol in a health science course, which, surprise, surprise, I dropped out of again. <laughs> Let's do a count. That's three times I've dropped out. Not looking too good, is it? As bad as my track record was, I still felt as if I had not reached my full potential and that something was lacking. With the help of my mother's constant nagging, thanks mum, I was convinced that I really needed to have a fourth attempt at attaining an education. So 2016 came along and I enrolled at Canning College, fourth time lucky. Of course, old habits die hard and this year I dropped a class. There's a teacher out there with whom I hold in high esteem somewhere in the audience who knows which class I dropped. And I just want him to know that he is a funny and fascinating character. Keep telling the same jokes you do every year and don't ever change. It's pure gold. It may not mean much, but for leaving your class and not putting in the required effort, I apologise. If my memory serves me well, which often doesn't, I can recall there being at least 20 people in my English class at the beginning of semester one. A quarter of them left in the first month or so. And if I was a gambling man, I'd count myself amongst those who had chosen to call it quits. But I didn't, and I'd like to tell you why. I'll be blunt and speak candidly. Looking around at the people I grew up with, the direction life decides to take them, I didn't want that. I wanted something more, something more fulfilling, something more satisfying. It doesn't take a genius to realise that we all fail, constantly, myself in particular. But we must be absolutely diligent and never stop trying. A lot easier said than done, I know. In my eyes, there is no more noble deed than to fall down and to rise back up. I want to emphasise that there is no perfect route through life, no fixed method, no one road to success, but rather an endless maze full of trials, each unique, that lead to an infinite amount of opportunities impossible to foresee even by the most brightest of us. Canning College was the place that allowed me to achieve academic success. I've been to a lot of educational facilities in my life, and none of them were anywhere near as supportive as this school is. Apart from some childlike gossip, I've yet to witness anyone being bullied or pressured at this school, and that is a very pleasant and reassuring thing. The Learning Centre is an excellent resource which needs to be taken advantage of. The multicultural aspect of this school just gives it that extra dimension, so to speak. It's a beautiful thing to see so many cultures from around the world work in a harmonious rhythm, and that's hands down by far my most favourite aspect of this school. As I draw my speech to an end, I want you to all know that it's truly been a pleasure sharing my experiences with all of you. I hope that you see my story as testament and an example of what happens when a person repeatedly falls down only, only to get back up. Throughout life, 
please, please, always try your best, especially with all the small things we tend to neglect. If I could impart some words of wisdom before I finish and leave you with something for my speech, it's this. Each and every one of you in this room has something special to offer that no one else has. And if you do not release your gift and step into your destiny, then this world will not be as bright as it should be. Thank you.